In this video, we are going to talk about this AD407 microscope, which is shipped from the toilet. <sighs> Actually, I don't think it's shipped from the toilet, hopefully. I think uh, this is some kind of automatic translation, because I'm using this uh, Amazon uh, in Germany, and uh, I guess this text was automatically translated to English and it, you know, it come out like the package is shipped from the time. <laughs> but this is not the reason why I'm creating this video. The reason is that I recently bought this microscope and uh, some of my friends, when they saw this microscope and when they saw the pictures and videos from this microscope they were like oh it's actually quite good it's it's better than what i have and uh, then i was thinking like uh, maybe if a friend of mine if they think it's actually quite good microscope then maybe i could make a video about the microscope because it can help also other people to or decide if uh, maybe they would like to buy something like this. Okay, so that's uh, basically what this video is going to be about. We are going to have a closer look at this microscope and it's going to be some kind of very simple review. Here is a very short clip uh, of the microscope on my table. Uh, watch this and then we will speak about what you can see here. Especially notice uh, this base, how it is oriented. And also we will talk about this distance between the board and the lens of the microscope. So, how do you like the microscope? Actually, uh, this uh, picture and the zoom is quite good. We will talk about this. Uh, but I would like to start with the base of the microscope. If I uh, go on the Amazon website, you can see this is how it is uh, supposed to look. And uh, once I built this microscope, I really didn't like this base, which is here. When I'm working with boards, when I'm soldering or when I'm inspecting the boards, I really like to have a nice, big, flat area under the microscope. So uh, the very first thing what I did, I flipped this base. So when you have a look uh, again into my video, then you can see uh, the base is now in back of the microscope and now I can just uh, use this table or some mud or something where I can place the boards. Of course, uh, I had to use some weight on the base because otherwise the microscope would flip over. But uh, this was like super simple and very nice solution uh, for my uh, personal issue. Maybe, you know, some people, they don't have problems. They, di they don't have this kind of problems. <laughs> uh, but I was very happy with this solution. However, there was another problem. This problem was actually pointed out on my LinkedIn profile because when I bought the uh, microscope, I posted about it and uh, Ken commented on my post and uh, he said something like this. I bought this model or one very similar and while the image was nice and sharp, discovered the field of view was too zoomed in for efficient inspection. If the mounting post had been longer, I could have moved the microscope head higher for a wider view and it ended up giving it away and purchasing a good stereoscope with camera port. Do you know what does it mean? What Ken is talking about? When I read this comment, I didn't fully realize how important it is actually have a really good field of view. Only a little bit later, I found out what 
this actually means. And I would like to talk about this because uh, uh, this may be something what uh, you may forget to consider when you will be, for example, buying a Microsoft, <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> microscope for yourself. Okay, when you are buying microscope, then uh, you probably consider all the kind of things like yeah, you would like to have nice picture and uh, maybe you would like to buy a microscope which is uh, really fast and responsive because for example when you are soldering uh, you need to see uh, the soldering process in real time on this uh, on this display i have some old microscope which was like super slow and you couldn't really solder with this microscope because what you were doing uh, and what you have seen on this display it was like in different times okay and then uh, you may want to consider uh, when you are buying microscope you may want to consider what kind of output they have i i needed hdmi output maybe you would like to have usb output but you may forget about this field of view and uh, i'm going to show you what this exactly means let's say we would like to see this whole board on the display of our microscope to be able to do it we need to place this board very very far away from the microscope you can see i'm placing the board on the ground and the microscope is actually on the table and then we can see the whole board on the display so to be able to see large areas you need to place this microscope very far away from the objects in this case uh, you can see it is like 33 34 inches or 85 86 centimeters that's very far away to be able to see this whole board on the display of the microscope and now you may be like but i don't buy microscope to see whole board i just would like to see some details on the board and you are completely right okay uh, maybe this example is not what you would normally use in a real world but i wanted to show you how far away you need to place this board to see it on the display of the microscope and uh, by the way here in the background you can see a grid and the size of this grid is one millimeter or 40 mils so you can very easily calculate the size of the area what you can see here on the display it's like uh, one centimeter two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is like 10 centimeters it would be like uh, four thousand mils okay uh, now i recorded different video where you can see better example something maybe what you would like to use when you will be working with this microscope so here is the other video in this setup i use these two boxes to place the microscope higher and watch uh, what now we are going to see from this board what we will see on the display of the microscope is going to be much smaller area like this okay and i can give you a different example so i will uh, use this smaller board and uh, let's place it under, mic under the microscope so you can see how much from this small board we will see okay it looks like this this is actually i think this is the upper limit of uh, what you may want from your microscope to be able to do it and it is still uh, like 34 centimeters or 
13, 14 inches from the table. So basically the stand, which is delivered with the microscope, is like super small. Ideally, this stand should be much higher. It should be like, I'm going to measure in the video so you can see. Ideally, we would like to have the length of this stand to be maybe like uh, 47 centimeters or 18, 19 inches. Okay, so what is the conclusion about this stand? It could be better. And uh, I actually believe if they made this stand uh, longer or taller, then uh, this microscope would be much, much better product. Especially because all the other parts of this microscope, they are quite good. You will see. So in the next uh, part of this video, uh, I would like to play short clip where you will see the maximum zoom of this microscope. It is my new setup. Uh, you can see the microscope is now directly on the table. And in this setup, we are testing the maximum zoom. So this is the uh, maximum zoom. This is the minimum area what you can see with this microscope. And again, this is a one by one millimeter grid or 40 by 40 mils. So this area is like four by two millimeters or 160 mils by 80 mils. And the limit of the zoom is actually set by the optics. You can see I set the optics the way that it doesn't go uh, further. That's the maximum. And now when I place there this small board, we can have a look on this LED which is here. Uh, to make the picture sharp, I'm not going to use the optics because I would like to keep it on maximum, but I'm going to just move whole microscope a little bit up and down to focus on the LED. Okay, don't forget uh, this LED is very small. You still can see this grid in the background. So this LED is like, I don't know, one millimeter by one millimeter or 40 by 40 mils based on this grid, what is here. And uh, in this setup, I actually have the HDMI output of this uh, microscope connected to ATEM, which can record the picture, HDMI picture, and the output from the ATEM is connected to this big monitor, which is here. So I can actually see the picture from this microscope also up here in this big monitor, but it's going to be a little bit delayed because it goes through the ATEM device, which can record the HDMI picture. See? Okay. And now if you would need, you can actually uh, use the digital zoom. So you can zoom a little bit more, but you know, this is not optics. This is actually just the digital zoom, but it's still maybe sometimes useful. So this is the maximum, maximum zoom, the optical plus digital zoom. I'm going to show you how the HDMI output looks from this microscope. I recorded this HDMI output and here you can see it. So this is the maximum digital zoom coming out through HDMI output of the microscope. And now this is the maximum optical zoom and I'm recording the HDMI output from the microscope. And uh, this is the setup, what I normally use. You can see the microscope is not directly on the table. And if I put it on the minimum, then this is basically the 
kind of maximum zoom which I have in this setup and it's okay for uh, for many things what I need and if I uh, pull this up then you will see the kind of minimum zoom which I will get for this kind of setup and I use this uh, for example when I record some boards if we have a look uh, on the back of this uh, microscope here you can see USB it is only used for power this model use it for power there is micro uh, micro SD card and also the HDMI output and uh, I'm going to show you uh, one more time how this HDMI output looks for example for this kind of setup this is the direct HDMI output from the microscope and I think it looks quite good and uh, I would like to show you something so I'm going to take away the board and have a look at this grid notice this area which is here the lines which are here they are in focus but, but the lines which are here they are actually blurred and if I change the focus a little bit notice what is happening okay so right now it looks like everything is some kind of in focus but if I keep focusing then this is kind of in focus and this is completely blurred so I'm not really sure if this is like normal for all microscope but very similar thing is happening also on my optical microscope and maybe it's because it's so cheap I don't know if you know if this is normal leave comments okay I would like to know if uh, if this is some kind of production mistake or if this is like completely normal having these uh, blurred areas when you are using microscopes uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to zoom in so for this specific setup I'm going to bring the uh, microscope closer to the paper and uh, I'm going to show you that there is exactly the same effect so this is the maximum zoom for the setup what I normally use and again you can see when I'm changing the focus sometimes almost everything is kind of in focus and then uh, sometimes some areas are more in focus some are a little bit more blurred yeah now it is visible this is kind of blurred and this is still in focus and I also place here the board so you can see how it looks I really like the picture from this uh, microscope it's very helpful when I'm creating uh, YouTube videos and you know I can show some of the things and, and details on the board if uh, you would like to see this microscope in action then maybe have a look at this my video where uh, I use this microscope uh, for example to inspect quality of soldering also uh, I use it to solder down some components here you can see I'm soldering the teeny tiny LED and uh, the microscope it works very well I'm I'm very happy with uh, this microscope and also with the recordings and the quality of the picture uh, before we completely finish this video I would like to go very quickly through the menu on the microscope so you get an idea what is inside of this menu I'm going to open the menu and inside of the menu there is resolution exposure I don't really change this I do not record audio uh, I don't really use this I don't use this I never set this same here I don't use it uh, there is also 
grid. Again, I don't use this. I think these are just uh, like uh, based on the resolution, so these are no real units, so it's not like very useful. Again, I don't use this language frequency. I think this uh, is frequency of the display. So this maybe it can be useful if you are recording the display. Uh, I don't want to format the SD card. I don't want to use default settings. This is the version. If you would like to record, you just press OK on the remote control. It will start recording the video on the SD card. So if you don't have any device which would record uh, HDMI signal, you can record directly on the micro SD card. Okay. And also what you can do, you can take pictures. So you just press the picture button and it records the picture. Then if I go into menu, uh, we can actually see this is the picture what we just took and this is the video what I have recorded. I almost forgot. In this video, we have been inspecting uh, mostly these very small boards. But what about large boards like this one? This is not very large board and it would be quite difficult to actually inspect the um, components on the other side of the board. As you can see, this is the maximum distance from the stand, what we can inspect. What about all these other things on the other side of the board? We could rotate the board, but you know, sometimes you don't want to, for example, when you are soldering or something. So basically, also, this arm should be much longer. Okay, I wanted to point this out uh, because it's very important and uh, and the stand, it definitely should be improved. If you decide to buy this microscope, then uh, you need to think what you are going to do with this stand or how you are going to place this microscope because this stand is going to be a problem. And uh, that's everything what I wanted to show you in this video. I really hope you found it useful uh, and I really hope it will help someone because uh, it's kind of tricky to buy these kind of products which are not very cheap and uh, many of them they are from China and you are really not sure what you are buying and there can be like huge difference between these products. So uh, I really hope this will help some of you. Would I buy this microscope again? Uh, if I didn't know any better microscope in this uh, price range, I would buy again this microscope. Uh, however, I would only give like four stars to this microscope because, because of the stand. If you have better microscope, then please leave a comment because uh, maybe it can help other people. As I said, it is kind of tricky to buy this kind of equipment. So if you have good experience with with microscopes uh, which are cheap or which are in similar price range as this one, then it can be super useful to many people. Also leave comments if you found this video useful. I would like to thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.